Many of you have been asking about our root cellar and our food storage and what we have been put up for the winter. So down here, this is the root cellar portion. We've got root cellar, freezer, and then the main kitchen area. In the root cellar, I only have things that I've canned this year along with commercially canned goods. So I've got lots of tomato products. I've got my extra coolers. We've got some wheat, a couple of things of corn, some soup. I've made a ton of Chinese plum sauce. Two different days, same recipe. Amazing the difference in color. Lots of Chinese plum, probably won't have to do that for a couple of years. Plum chutneys, this is all my Mexican food. And you can see I've got green salsa. These salsas are all from the same recipe and I'll give you a video on that soon. Um, lots of jalapenos in there. Cherry tomatoes done a couple different ways. Tomato chutneys, tomato sauces, tomato gastrique, roasted pep uh, peaches, plain peaches. Roasted peaches. Roasted peaches, and then I went ahead and canned them. Um, dilly beans, dilly onions, pickle relishes. And then here's a uh, blueberry plum jam, elderberry shrub, raspberry jam from our garden. So much fun. Um, but all of these different foods are just from this year. And um, yeah, it's kind of exciting. I also use my bread machine for making doughs sometimes, like if I want to make cinnamon rolls and that kind of stuff. And I keep the boxes to everything because it's just easier to store them. Banana bread! It's been another busy morning. Part of the freezer challenge, getting those bananas used. That's one of our favorite things. Yep. Thank you for making that. That'll be days of enjoyment. Not very many days. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen pantry. So what I have in here is grain storage and I've marked everything so I know what it is. And then I have jams and jellies and then some canned goods here. Lots of coconut milks and olives, things that I like. We have snacks, homemade granolas. We've got some different honeys and then I've got some onions and potatoes. I've got flour because I make a lot of bread for Cody. These are all canned goods that I brought up from the basement. So everything that was not canned this year is up here so that I eat it right away. Homemade canned goods, it's not a safety issue, but a quality issue. The quality will go down, so that's why I want to make sure and bring it up and use it right away. Um, I've got pancake mixes. I like Bob's Red Mill things. I get his um, oatmeal. I've got some coffee, crackers. We eat a lot of nuts, and so I buy nuts raw, and then I go ahead and roast them. Um, a lot of dried fruit. The last of the cherries just went into the granola. I've got canned tomato goods up here. This is my baking goods. I just have a little container so I carry the whole thing out to the counter so I don't have to bring each item individually. Sugars, I try to do a lot of maple syrup and honey instead of sugar. Um, Mexican food and then lots of different flours, some beans, eggs. Over here are my things I use. So I do have a microwave. We've got our water filter and then you know, waffle presses and crock pots and juicers and that kind of thing. My last... Can I, can I ask you a question? Yes. Where do you keep your MREs? <laughs> You can keep those for me, love. Um, <laughs> the last piece of storage that I have is my refrigerator and freezer. And I'm not going to show you those right now because, frankly, they need a little organization. But what I will do is show you how I do a freezer pantry challenge. And that's to eat what we have so I don't have to buy very many groceries and how I do meal planning. How I cherish that woman. There wouldn't be a homestead without her. The amount of work she does and how she keeps the hearth and home happy and healthy is without price. So I've got some videos for you. This is a Mrs. Rankler Star Marathon. On the top left, we have her famous and my favorite, No Need Bread. This is a delicious bread that anyone can make. We don't even buy bread anymore unless we're out. We love this bread. To the right on the top is my favorite, Bigfoot Chili. So that's a quick video on that. Bottom left, Mrs. Rankler Star does a fire drill. It's important that uh, even though I'm the primary uh, outside mechanic type of worker, that she understands how to do these things as well. We need to understand each other and each other, other's jobs and at least have a cursory knowledge. And on the bottom right, finally, is how to make soft cheese. Mrs. Wrangler Star's easy to make soft cheese. So you can click on those videos and those will take you, uh, the, the thumbnails also take you right to the videos. Those of you who are watching in mobile, I will put all of the links there as well so you can click on over and watch. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, don't forget to thumbs up. Mm -hmm.